late Richard Redding was a tireless believer in downtown. Uh, his mother worked for worked downtown and was a buyer for Montaldo's and Sosnick's. So he spent some time downtown as a child and used to tell me about the uh, going to the Carolina Theater on Saturdays and um, you know, which is now the Stevens Center. And the hustle bustle of downtown just excited him. And his background was in architecture and urban planning. So I think that when he decided, made the decision to get into the real estate business, I think that's what made him so unique is that he looked at real estate through the eyes of an architect as opposed to through the eyes of a broker who was uh, perhaps looking for a commission on a transaction. Richard saw the beauty in the building. Richard's love for downtown was obvious in this interview on WSTV 13, taped just days before his sudden death. Um, and I think what's really happened in those past 10 years is we've gotten our sizzle. You know, the restaurants, the entertainment, a ballpark, uh, the Sawtooth Center and the new theaters that are coming there. Um, it, it's brought uh, the residential the non-traditional um, office park uh, environment for downtown has really followed since those times. As president of the former Downtown Winston-Salem Association, as a partner in Meridian Realty Group, and as a citizen, Richard's enthusiasm about everything to do with downtown was boundless. He is missed by everyone who knew him, loved him, and respected him. In uh, 1986, which was uh, the year that Richard started with us, uh, we were located out in North Point, and we were contacted by Walter Chatham and uh, Wachovia Trust to look at the Chatham building. And I took Richard, this green broker, uh, who had been with us less than a year, to make this call on this property owner that owned a beautiful building downtown, but there we were. Before the meeting was over, Richard had, number one, offered to relocate Meridian's offices from North Point down to the Chatham building. And number two, assured Walter that we would lease up the vacant space within 12 months. Long story short, we did that. We used to visit different cities and, and we would spend an extra day going through urban areas and he would make notes on businesses that were there, restaurants that were there, you know, just always thinking about who he could see to entice to come to, to, to Winston-Salem. Um, so he, he was just excited about that. It was, it was a 24-7 thing with him. It uh, wasn't, a, wasn't a job. 